In the heart of Appalachia, where the mountains roll and the creeks wind endlessly, a family once lived whose story seems almost mythical. They were the Blue Fugates of Kentucky, a family whose skin was tinted an otherworldly shade of blue. It all began in 1820 when Martin Fugate, a French orphan, settled on the remote banks of Troublesome Creek in eastern Kentucky. He married a local woman named Elizabeth Smith, and together they built a life in the quiet hills. But something was hidden in their genes, a rare mutation waiting to surface. The Fugate's genetic secret manifested in a seemingly impossible way. Four of Martin and Elizabeth's seven children were born with blue skin, a deep cobalt hue unlike anything their neighbors had ever seen. The condition, later identified as methemoglobinemia, was caused by a recessive gene that both Martin and Elizabeth unknowingly carried. This gene affects the blood's ability to carry oxygen, causing the skin to appear blue. In the isolated hills of Kentucky, families like the Fugates often intermarried, so the recessive blue skin gene continued to pass down through the generations. The Fugate family lived like anyone else in their small Appalachian community, farming, raising families, and attending church. But for nearly 200 years, nobody knew what caused their skin to turn blue. Locals speculated it was a curse, or perhaps even a gift, as the Blue Fugates otherwise lived long and healthy lives. Rumors about the so-called Blue Hill people eventually spread beyond Appalachia. In the 1960s, a young hematologist named Madison Cowain traveled to Troublesome Creek to meet the Blue Skin family he'd heard so much about. There, he found a genetic puzzle waiting to be solved. Dr. Cowain discovered that the Fugates were deficient in diaphorase, the enzyme responsible for converting abnormal methemoglobin back into normal hemoglobin. This deficiency caused unusually high levels of methemoglobin in their blood, giving their skin its unique blue hue. Dr. Cowain also formulated a temporary treatment. By giving the Fugates methylene blue, a medical dye, he could restore their skin to a more natural tone, However, the results of this treatment were fleeting as their bodies gradually excreted the dye. As transportation improved and Appalachian communities became more connected in the 20th century, the Fugates began to marry outside of their small circle. Their recessive gene became diluted and the blue skin eventually disappeared. The last known descendant born with blue skin was Benjamin Stacy in 1975. The doctors attending his birth were baffled but the blue skin of Benjamin's great-grandmother provided the clue they needed to link him back to the Fugate family of Troublesome Creek. Today, the Blue Fugates are remembered as a fascinating example of how genetics, isolation, and history can intersect. Their story has been featured across medical journals and folklore, captivating scientists and storytellers alike. While the blue skin of the Fugates may have faded, their story endures, a thread woven into the colorful fabric of Appalachian history.